Chapter 1. Everything you do in life is a result of the decisions you make. The only person that is to blame for whatever is happening to you is you. You are the pilot of your life, and you're the only one who can decide whether to live a good life or not. The first step to living a good life, however, is knowing how to live a good life. Many people have tried different methods on how to grow in life, but they've failed. This is because they are trying the wrong methods, or they are doing it the wrong way. Living a good life requires having a working plan and the determination to succeed no matter what. The best life you can live is the one where you are fulfilled and happy with the things you do. How you achieve happiness and fulfillment, however, is relative to whatever gives you joy. You must follow the right processes of doing things in order to achieve the best results. When you do things the wrong way, the chances are high that you'll suffer reproach. Through the principles of Core 4, Sean Whalen has been able to outline and discuss the four fundamental aspects of life that need evaluation. Continue reading to know more about the Core 4. Chapter 2 Core 4 is an ultimate framework that covers every aspect of your life. Everything you do in life falls under four categories. These four categories shape your life and existence. They shape the way you live, how you see the world, and how you approach the world in general. The four categories are called Core 4, and you must perfectly understand them if you want to live a fulfilling life. Life can be very difficult for you if you allow chaos to rule you. Chaos brings nothing but disorder, negative results, and a terrible outcome. You must achieve clarity first before you adopt the whole concept of the Core 4 principles. So what is Core 4? Core 4 represents power, passion, purpose, and production. Each of these principles represents something unique about your everyday life. Power, body, passion, relationships, purpose, mind, production, business. Looking at the four representations above, you will have to agree that nothing you do in your everyday life falls out of these categories. Your body represents your literal self, your physical presence itself. The relationship between how you interact with everyone around you, your family, your friends, and your environment as a whole. The mind is concerned about how you must view things with positivity. Embrace the values of life and fill yourself with useful knowledge. Your business involves your income and financial security. The value of Core 4 cannot be underestimated because it will reflect on every aspect of your life. Your life goals are like an elephant and you're probably making the mistake of trying to eat it all at once. It's virtually impossible to swallow an elephant at once. So how then do you eat it? You take it bite by bite. Tiny little steps every day without putting too much pressure on yourself. Core 4 serves as a map as well as a blueprint for you. Its contents are not negotiable in any way because with Core 4, you can solve every problem you face in life. It's the ultimate guide to living the best life you can ever imagine. Chapter 3. The way you manage your body is very integral to your growth in life. Your body is the enabler of many things you do. Having a fit body is not a luxury. It's an absolute necessity. You have no excuse for not being fit. You must exercise every day of your life because your body is what you need to do everything around you. Your body is what hugs your kids, takes you to work, gets you intimate with your wife, and gives you the luxury to enjoy everything you've worked for. The body is your power because the better you treat your body, the clearer your mind becomes. To get fit and in shape enough to clear your mind, you need to do the following things. Hire a personal trainer. Have a plan. Get rid of shitty foods. Find and commit to an accountability partner. The more you get in shape, the better your body responds to every aspect of your life. Getting fit makes your body sharper and your brain more active than before. Alongside building your body, there's the need to develop a better passion or relationship with everyone you meet. Nothing kills growth more than being in a bad relationship with the people around you. Bad relationships are not limited to the connection between you and your lover. It extends to harboring resentments, anger, sadness, evil thoughts, etc. When you are filled with these emotions, you can never grow. You need to get rid of everything that's causing a bad relationship in your life now. A bad relationship will cause you to get depressed, angry, and unsuccessful. It will kill whatever morale you have. And the moment you get angry at one thing, it affects every other thing. Learn to replace negative words with positive reactions. When someone offends you, walk away or make your feelings known without a confrontation. Learn to overlook a lot of things and be more appreciative. There is a limit to the level of control you have over other people. 
But there's no limit to how much you can control yourself. Focus on how you can change for good and overlook how others react to you. You're in control of who you associate with. Take charge. Did you know? Less than 5% of adults participate in 30 minutes of physical activity each day. Chapter 4. Every single thing you do starts in the mind. Every choice you make and every step you take is a product of what's going on in your mind. Your mind is like a garden that will always grow things, but what it grows totally depends on you. If you fail to do nothing, your mind will be clouded with nothing but imagination. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. This is the ideal life. Mark Twain. Your imagination can only come to fruition if you take actions and steps that will facilitate your growth. Just like a garden, if you fail to take care of it, it will grow weeds. If you do take care of it, it will grow whatever you plant in it. Your mind is the power to make decisions. You cannot control the thoughts that come to your mind, but you can control your reactions to them. You must learn to control your mind by feeding it with good vibes, positivity, and valuable knowledge. The best way to train your mind well is to start every day with positivity. Find a morning routine that works for you and keep to it. Let every morning be filled with an air of happiness. Do not start off your day by complaining about the things that are wrong with your life. Do not start the day worrying about the things that could go wrong. Wake up and enjoy the privilege of being alive and healthy enough to look forward to the whole day. Schedule a morning routine by paying attention to what you'll do when you wake up, what you'll read, what videos you'll watch, the people you'll talk to first, etc. It is very advisable to plan your tomorrow tonight. Read good books and spend quality time with your family and loved ones. On your way to work, schedule interesting meetings and events for the morning. And defer the not-so-interesting ones to noon or evening. Smile to your workers or your coworkers, and make sure you try as much as possible to overlook negative remarks. You can develop a mantra for yourself to get you through bad times. Your mind is capable of influencing your life, which is why you must pay maximum attention to it. Meditate daily and devote considerable time to study. Daily study and meditation helps you to relax and concentrate well on many things. Chapter 5. Ensure that whatever you do as a career is enough to sustain you well. You should get paid every day because if you don't, you'll get trapped in brokenness. Being broke disrupts a lot of things. First, it takes away your freedom to make plans. Then, it renders your ideas useless because you do not have enough to implement whatever idea you have. A lot of people find it very hard to balance their work and their private life. Most people unintentionally substitute their family for a job, thereby losing a bigger part of them. The chances are that you're struggling to make yourself available for your family and for your work at the same time. The truth is that you're not alone in the struggle. There are two ways out of such a situation. Number one, you give up and lose everything. Number two, you hire a core four coach and work things out in a good way. Of course, option one is not ideal, so that makes option two the better one. Hiring a coach doesn't make you a weakling or a stupid person, especially if you're a man. All the best athletes and great people in the world have at least a coach. Some have multiple coaches, and if they can, you can too. Coaches bring a new perspective and the experience of other people. You are never too good to learn more. Great businesses are always open to learning new things, and you should be too. When you hire a coach, you're hiring more experience and better knowledge. Your final success or failure is solely your responsibility and your business. You alone can decide whether you want to succeed or you want to fail. You must follow the following steps if you want to make your life more productive. Add value to your life by letting people know what you're capable of doing and why they should listen to you. Know what you want, why you want it, and how you want it. Research on your own and learn more. Learn from people and copy models that have produced successful results. Expand and enlarge your coast by adding value to those who are interested in what you're doing. Chapter 6. You are responsible for whatever happens in your life. Core 4 is the principle on which you must build your life. It's not enough to think about becoming successful or better at the things you do. You must make moves and apply all the principles of Core 4. Every aspect of your life is interwoven and connected in one way or another. This means that damage to one aspect of your life can lead to more damages in all other areas. Don't let your society reflect on you. Instead, make sure you reflect on your society. The key to becoming better is accepting that you've been doing it the wrong way. This helps you turn to do it the right way. 
Core 4 is there to help you understand the intricacies of life and how you can make anything happen. Whatever you do is a product of your own decision, and you must live with it. You must always find a way to create happiness for yourself. There are several ways with which you can create happiness for yourself, and some of them are Quit your job if it doesn't make you happy. If you wake up every day sulky and unhappy that you're going to work, it's high time you stopped doing the job. If the corporate job life doesn't give you any fulfillment, then you need to quit and start your own business. Some people find it more comfortable working under other people, while some do not. The best thing to do is to find out which one works for you and make the necessary corrections. Stay away from people that will keep drawing you back. Avoid people that bring bad energy to you. Cut them off if you have to. As long as you are protecting your sanity, every other person can wait. Approach every day with positivity. Look forward to the next day as a day of productivity. Let each day give you enough reasons to want to start the next day. Look forward to every challenge with the determination to win. One of the major characteristics of a winner is the determination to win. Strive to win always. Appreciate more and complain less. When you complain too much, you'll barely become more productive because it would mean you're more focused on faults rather than productivity. Conclusion There's no limit to what you can achieve as long as you put your mind to it. Alongside putting your mind to it, you must also develop a plan for your life and how to best execute it. Core 4 serves as a roadmap for your journey through life. It helps you break down every area of your life into four important stages. With Core 4, it becomes easier to keep track of your life and reevaluate your position at regular intervals. Every step you take and every decision you make is evident in the principles. The best part of living a good life is by understanding what makes a good life. Understanding what it takes to live a good life gives you the required measures to build a life of fulfillment. Sustaining a good life requires a lot of determination and grit. It requires focus and dedication to your goals, which is why you must never stop applying the principles of Core 4. Core 4 teaches you the importance of life and why you must do everything you can to live a healthy lifestyle. You must learn and unlearn a lot of things if you want to stand out and live a fulfilled life. Try this. Wake up early. Say a prayer or a mantra. Meditate for some minutes. Drink a glass of water. Exercise your body very well. And put on a smile for the best part of the day.